specialists, yeah? So if you have any technical problems with Moodle, please don't contact me because <laughs> I'm sure I won't know the answer. But I'll just present you five applications that I've been using for the past uh, year. And uh, I think uh, made uh, teaching uh, easier. Yeah? So the first thing I'll present, these are the five applications um, I'll explain. So um, letting students drop or upload their portfolios, their, their uh, texts, their homework on Moodle. Second one is the difference between the group, the group one, uh, those who who had who followed the the Moodle workshop uh, in May, I guess it was. Uh, for sure, must know the, the difference between groups, uh, the group, the group one. Uh, the third one is a scheduler, a planner, yeah, uh, to organize presentations in class or uh, make the agenda for the oral exams. No, sorry, that. Everyone knows what the difference between group and group No, no, okay, no. Okay, so good. I'll explain. <laughs> right? Okay, good. Yeah. Um, the fourth point: how to contact the students through the Moodle platform. Yeah, you can even do it through your smartphone. And the fifth point: uh, how to present uh, <coughs> video and audio fragments in class. Okay. And the problem that may occur. Okay, uh, first thing, yeah, uh, there is an application on Moodle that enables you to let students drop or upload their portfolios on the platform. What are the advantages? No longer the hassle at the beginning or the end of your course yeah, to, to accept all the papers the students come to present to you, yeah, or no longer students who come to knock uh, on your door every five minutes or have to... Um, have to say, have to go to the secretary. Uh, so they can all do it online. There are no longer so-called lost copies. Students who claim, I gave it to you off the clock, don't you remember? Yeah, or I put it under your door. No, it's, it's on the platform or it's not there. Uh, it's also easy to, uh, to organize or to archive um, the documents because they're all together in one uh, map uh, on the platform. Okay, and I will, as I will show you, it's easy to set a clear cut deadline. Yeah, you can uh, fine tune the application so that after a certain moment, after a certain date, students no longer can upload their work. Um, <coughs> this application is quite sophisticated. It even enables you to evaluate to send feedback and to even uh, pass on their notes through the application. There are also some disadvantages. Yeah? Uh, if you have like uh, 300 students, as you said yesterday, if you have like 300 students and you want to copy, uh, you, want, you want to correct the copies the classic way with the red uh, pen, you have to print them all yourself. Yeah? Uh, but I guess see a lot of advantages and maybe one or two of these advantages. Okay, um, how to do that? So you go to the Moodle page and you click to Ajouter uh, une activité ou ressource. And then you click on Devoir. And then you come to a page <coughs> like this. Okay, I'll go to the UV. There you have to put a name like um, Portfolio Premier uh, Cadre. Yeah. The description, yeah, what it is exactly. Well, I hope students know what it is about. So, but you have to uh, fill out something. So you can just put a point so the application is accepted. And then here, you have three dates you can enter. The first one is a partir, yeah, from what moment onwards they can uh, upload uh, their portfolio. 
I usually do not activate that part. I mean, if they're ready with the portfolio, the 1st of September, all the better for them. <laughs> yeah. But th then here you have two different uh, aspects for the deadline. Yeah, uh, that is the deadline, but students are able to upload their work even after that date. Yeah? But it's clearly marked too late. Yeah? Uh, they really get the message, you were like two days and five hours and seven minutes yeah. too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, the second one, that limit, yeah? if you hear say like the 20th of December, the application is closed. They no longer can upload the portfolios after that moment. Yeah. So it's up to you to, to choose one of these two or, or just activate both of them. Okay. The rest of the details are not so important, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's important to you. you put, uh, uh, it is remise de <coughs> Otherwise, you have to copy paste the text into the application. And if it's this one, they can upload their own Word document. <coughs> I didn't get that. Uh, okay. Sorry. The, the difference between this, these yeah. two, if, if it's this text on line, they yeah. have to copy paste their text from the own Word documents into the application. Uh -huh. Yeah. So bad for the layout of the page and everything. Mm -hmm. like so it's important that it's, uh, it's this one. Uh, they can upload their Word uh, document or the PDF files. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. You can limit. Uh, up to 50 megabytes or, or more. All the rest is rather details. It, it can get very technical, so not that important. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you as a teacher click on the application, you get a sort of overview, yeah, how many portfolios have already been uploaded, yeah, you get the details. Okay, more important is that part. You get a sort of overview of who uploaded what at what moment, and more sophisticated parts, mm -hmm. yeah. you can give them feedback, send back uh, their documents, write comment, write uh, feedback here, and even pass on their final notes. Yeah. Is it accessible for every student? Can, can everyone see the comments? Or no, just no, 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 no. no. They, get a, uh, they get a private message in the mailbox. Uh, okay. yeah. Yeah, no, 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 it's not open for everybody. No, no, no. <laughs> it must be possible to make it accessible for everybody, but <laughs> sounds like a bad idea. Okay, so. so. That's the application on the Moodle page. Oh. You just click on it. Mm -hmm. Then you get this sort of overview page. Yeah, with all the details. Yeah. And then you click on okay. that one. <coughs> My question then goes to that question. When you say that students can submit, for example, imagine they send you 55 Word documents, 55 students and 55 Word yeah. documents. You can write your comments uh, via the, the platform. By, by the platform. Yeah. Can you can you edit their documents? Well, I always ask them to submit their files in Word. Word, yeah. yeah. With the comment function of Word. Sure. Yeah. 
So you can again uh, so you upload can just them back yeah. using the comments. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. Thank you. You can also um, write comments on a PDF file. Okay. You can you can yeah. I think everywhere. I think that's a very important question. We were understood what, what you asked. Yeah. 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 Uh, some, some editors uh, allow you to, to write comments yeah. on the uh, PDF documents. I have Unless you can protect yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was protected. Yeah. Yeah. But I have more problems with students who send to take text from their phone. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, not using Word or uh, PDF. So. Yeah. Anyway, that's okay. I just, yeah. just tell them not accept it. Also, uh, rich yeah. text files. Or yeah, yeah, files, or yeah, or yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't exactly how to do it, but it's yeah. possible to write comments. Uh, okay. uh, on the okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Can you limit this? That's also open office. office. Yeah. Open office. Yeah. Yeah, open office. Uh, does it accept open yeah. office? Yeah, yeah, sure. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So the platform accepts oh, any really? kind of yeah. files, yeah. but it's afterwards you have to be able to write your comments. Of course. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I guess. Open Office or Libre Office, how it's called now, uh, uh, it's even easier to write comments uh, than with Word, I find. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Because with Word, you always have to indicate, like, uh, you have to click on the, <coughs> uh, this and then comments. And with uh, Libre Office, there's like a combination Control C, mm -hmm. I guess, or something mm -hmm. that's not C, but Shift Control, something else. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought, just yeah. in that case, if you don't know how to edit the text sent by phone, it's very important to, to, set, uh, to tell uh, to the students that it has to be in a word format. Mm -hmm. If they are using OpenOffice, it's not a problem, they can, mm -hmm. you know, they can register the text in a, in, a, in a word format. That's also possible with OpenOffice. But if you have five students or ten students, it's not a problem just to copy paste it into yeah. a word document. Indeed, if you have like 300 students and they all <laughs> their own uh, preferred <coughs> uh, format. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, the difference between the two of them is really essential um, for Moodle. So, like, for some courses, you have different groups. Uh, some people take your course for 5, it's PS, others for 10. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Moodle allows you to make two groups. Yeah. So, um, there's a possibility to indicate this variant and tour on the platform. Yeah. Sometimes you have different groups from different faculties taking your courses. All that is possible to make different groups on the platform. Yeah. But they all get access to the same page. Yeah. They all get access to the same information. Um, let me see if I got. Yeah. This is the Moodle page from uh, Louvain and Neuve, yeah, where I teach to the uh, Tropical Social Science on Mondays. So there, there are six different groups taking the same course, and they all come from different filières. Yeah? So we made six groups, and here you see the students belonging to that group. But basically, they all get access to the same information mm -hmm. to one and the same page. Now, with the function of groupement, it is possible to display some things to certain groups and not display them to other groups. I'll try to show that directly online how it works. <coughs> so that's the Moodle page. This is how it's indicated <coughs> in what groupement it is visible. Like this planner for the presentations is only visible for my first group, and this planner is for the second group. Yeah, that's how it's indicated. Mm -hmm. yeah. Three brackets. Dag is yeah. using the, as an example the USL web page because he also works there. Okay. So. To find you get yeah. No, yeah. I just said some groups about sort of administrative differences between the students and then grouping group 
or I would say groupings in English, maybe. Yeah, this, this grouping is, called the English. It's more of a teaching tool to exactly, yeah. show data to certain students. Exactly. Not to others. Okay. Yeah. So That's the groups is the actual groups you have in your class, and the, uh, the groupings, the group more, is more uh, a technical thing. It's <coughs> part of teaching. It's, it's this is you've got three time time. slots for your course. So you can take a Tuesday group more than Tuesday group yes. more. So, so these are three groups, yeah. Yeah. but then again, you can uh, uh, take these groups together for the system, mm -hmm. so they can all uh, subscribe to the same planner, mm -hmm. uh, or you can have a planner for each group separately. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. So, okay. Um, I have another question. Yeah, uh, for example, for mm -hmm. Central English, um, there are several teachers who are teaching the same class, the yeah. same yeah. Yeah. Uh, Course, course. Course. Um, how how can we manage that that system? Because so there are several editors, teachers. Yeah, several teachers. teachers for one course, same course. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So, um, <coughs> <coughs> so as you can see here. Uh, <coughs> so here the same thing there are six groups by three different teachers taking the same course yeah so um, by the means of groupement uh, I can uh, and I'll explain in a minute I can like this is students of political sciences I'll take it to the European Parliament in February I can make a scheduler or a sort of uh, inscription uh, application for my two groups together and not for the other groups mm -hmm. yeah so you can really uh, how to say uh, select customers. select yeah select I think so, uh, even if you all have access to the same material uh, you still can get into touch uh, with with students from one group you can uh, offer some extra material for one group <coughs> only uh, one group only or different groups yeah. so you can say two or three of the six groups. Uh, but that means that all the teachers have an access to the material because now yeah. in our case, we have the coordinator of the, mm -hmm. the course mm -hmm. who can edit on Moodle, but the others not. They can, they can see uh, Moodle. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I don't know. You can get them, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then I have to ask it. Uh, okay. yeah. So Otherwise, we have to be editors. You have to be editors. Mm -hmm. You can be so the yeah, yeah. 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 editor. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 normally, the teacher grade allows you to edit, and there is also uh, also you can choose teacher and non editor. But the the, mm -hmm. the yeah. by default function for teacher in, in the Moodle is editing. So if, if you put someone a, if you put someone as teacher, normally he should be able to edit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for the groups, you go to. Administration, yeah, administration, and you go to users. You go to groups. Yeah. And then take some time. <coughs> yeah. And then you come to this page. Where you can you, you can create the groups and you have access to all the students belonging to one group it's also the place to change students from the one group to the other mm -hmm. yeah ajouter des utilisateurs If you want to remove one from that group and uh, add them to another group, you first have to remove them from that group, uh, put them back on the general lists, and then you go back to the other group, like this one, and then you again can add students. Uh, so here's groups, they put them on groupings. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So that's one I made yesterday, this presentation. Create a group of all, yeah? You can create as many as you want. Yeah? You just have to give them a name. Okay. Call them. Real 
really slow. Probably because UCLS, they see that I'm working from ULB. They're blocking the system, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll always see UCLB using the Sorry? How long have you been using Moodle? Um, for five years. Five years. Ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's not going to take you five years to understand it. Really. <laughs> yeah. The system has become a lot more user friendly than in the beginning. Really? Yeah. yeah in the sure. beginning, it was really basic. You had to be a sort of a specialist yeah. to understand how to handle it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So I would like to ask. Uh, uh, so yeah. the groups are given to you, and you create the group. Um. Uh, here at the OB, yeah, yeah. The, the, the groups are given to you. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and there's application to divide all the students into different groups. Okay. Yeah. But like in, in the Ravenna Nerve, uh, I just set up this page myself and. Uh, okay. Yeah. Can, I, are there, can I ask you just a general question? Yeah. I see that you've organized your, your, your page by date, by week. Is, yeah. is that really the best way to do it? Is that the thing that works best for you? For me, it, for me, it has the, the way yeah. to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I prefer doing it like this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's really like you want. Okay. Uh, yeah. right. okay. okay, so a new grouping just gives, <coughs> it, just gives the child a name. Okay, and then. You go here, modify. It's really slow. Normally, it's quite smooth. Uh, platform. <laughs> Happy sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Happy sandwich. So here you can select what groups you want to add to that grouping. Yeah. Sometimes it's just one group that goes into one group. Yeah. So if you want to show set application onto one group, you make a grouping for one group. Yeah. Like for the scheduler, yeah, the planning for the presentations in one class, uh, in one group, <coughs> you make a, a group of more, a grouping of one. Yeah. Okay, so now I'll, I'll select my two groups. Okay, that's done. Okay. So now you can add whatever application you want, whatever file you want, and I'll show you now. Okay. 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 For example, okay. you can add just the documents. Like, if you add a file like this, like for example, this file, I want to make it visible only to one group, of to one grouping. You go to modifier. You go to parameters. Different groupings. That you have created. Yeah, I just okay. created. Yeah. You go back, enregistre. And as you can see now, that file is only 
visible or accessible for groups belonging to that grouping. I'll put it back before my colleagues call me. What are you doing? <laughs> Any questions? Uh, yeah. Just to know, so now you are going uh, giving the examples with, with the user uh, platform and not with ours because you because there had, I had uh, a course with different groups right. given by different teachers. It's, it's more complex than the, the I examples I could give. I yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. But you can do the same thing here. And yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Doing this presentation on this PC is like a trip back to the Stone Age. <laughs> <laughs> we know the feeling. Okay, I explained all that. Okay, third thing, it's an avant premiere, yeah, because it's not yet available on the UV platform here at, at ULB. Yeah? But uh, yesterday I talked to uh, Eric and he'll yeah. make it uh, available sometime soon. Yeah. It's really a good uh, application, really a good tool. Yeah? This sort of scheduler to make the planning for presentations or oral exams anything you want. Yeah, yeah. that's what we tend to know. So if, if some uh, things uh, that is showing to you that you think are especially useful and they're not yet available in our version of Moodle, don't hesitate in letting me know or Eric. So well, that's the way to go. That's the way so in practice and, and myself we can know uh, what things are uh, would you like to have. Yeah. So it's it's uh, easier and better for you. So don't hesitate to communicate with me, with everyone. Okay. Some of these add-ons, some of the applications, well, it's open source, so everybody can write their own application. Some of them are extremely unstable, mm -hmm. so watch out. Yeah. Uh, no wild experiments. <laughs> but that's one, the scheduler is, is quite stable. I've been using it, it exists since the beginning of Moodle, and it's, it's quite useful. Yeah. So. It enables you to, to uh, fine-tune everything for the scheduler, yeah? Um, they said normal de Quino, yeah? Uh, how many possible, that's it, Quino in English? Time slots? That's, I think that's it, yeah, time slots. <coughs> how long each time slot takes, like quarter an hour, half an hour, yeah? Uh, how many students per group, yeah? From one up to, I guess, 20 if you want to. Uh, and even though, even if uh, later on the students want to change groups, it's quite easy to do that online. And you see, uh, underneath the page, you see the students who have not yet taken up uh, a time slot. So you can send them a reminder from the application. Very useful. Yeah, it's really, really well done that one. Um, so I'll show it. That's how it looks like. That's for the presentations. But I'll show it how to <coughs> install it, how to create it online. <coughs> but the students have to subscribe themselves on Moodle, no? Or is mm -hmm. it when they are. I don't know. Like um, because I don't think list every. Uh, all the names of my students yeah. should be there. Yeah? Yeah. So what is the problem there now? I guess a good trick is, is um, to put a password on the Moodle page. So they can't just come and visit the page like this. They have to subscribe to it. So you have their names on the list. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, they just come and visit it like this, yeah. and, and uh, you can't get that. And you will be telling the students who take that course who get access to the Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but they have to subscribe. No. No. I guess here it will be. It's done through the administration. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe there's a lot of your students who. who in the beginning, now I, I believe Could be people who wrote later who were not yet in the database. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So I'll show you how to do it. Course. Uh, yeah, also. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
application in the French it's called rendezvous. Yeah. yeah, here it is. You still go to the page right now, they just freak out, we'll, we'll see the planner for the exam. <laughs> okay, so. For the sketcher, it's really important that you indicate that one. Students, ne peut prendre qu'un seul rendez-vous, yeah? Only one try for the oral exams. <laughs> Otherwise, they can subscribe different times. Yeah. Okay, so here, if you if you need half an hour for the exams, you put thirty. Yeah. Fifty minutes. <laughs> Of all the details. So now uh, we create the basis, only the basis for the scheduler. Yeah? Here it is. Once you've created this, you can add the time slots. So. Okay, these are all the students and the group. Ajouter des créneaux. Yeah. And here you can choose from what day onwards. Yeah. So what day of what day <coughs> of the week? Yeah. When you start. So let me say it's on one. It's only on Friday today. But now let's say tomorrow. Any questions in the meantime? No. Okay. I just would like to add something that I'm yeah. in general. So if you find something particularly useful, yeah. it's, it's great if you are taking notes, but don't trust that your notes. Just try to practice it as soon as you as you can, because if not, you are going to forget it, that's for sure. Just don't let it but, but that one is not yet available. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to me so often. <laughs> So now, so <coughs> I put it for tomorrow from nine in the morning until noon. Yeah. You, if you want to say you want to, your exam is on Monday and on Wednesday. Yeah. Can you do it now? Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, for example. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, Monday, Wednesday, and then you have to say like from the 18th till the 28th, and then he'll make a page for every day for every. If you put it like this, from the 18th till the 28th, he'll make one page for, uh, he'll make the, the time slots for every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday between these two days. So you can't choose the dates. Say it's two weeks and you have uh, Monday. Wednesday. No, no. You, do, you don't have a calendar that you can. Uh, okay, so you, you know, make more. several schedules. Okay. That's Dodo Levy, not Moodle. <laughs> <laughs> Just one letter. So, <coughs> okay, something, a conflict, <laughs> there's a conflict between different moments. So he made that, he did it in purpose, so you okay, know okay. it can happen. Here it is. So, 
that's what you will get to see as a teacher. Yeah, students get a different, other a slightly different, other uh, slightly different version, and they can subscribe because right now it was for two or three students at a time. Yeah. And if you say like, well, two students at a time, so people can sign up for the same slot. No, uh, well, if it's for a presentation, you can say uh, the presentations are with two or three or four people. So and then they can. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then uh, once there's once there are four students, it's okay. it's over. Yeah. Of course, before exams, it's one at a time, I guess. Yeah. No. <laughs> no? Not okay. Oh. I should take your course. <laughs> yeah. So if you say, I want to have a break between like a quarter past 10 and 10.30, oh. you can just delete okay. that one. Right. Yeah? Or if somebody who's contacting you and saying, okay, I've got a problem, I can't, I, I can't get, uh, get access to the platform, can you do that for me? You as well can, can uh, write down a name on one of these. Yeah. Okay. Any questions for that one? No. Not maybe. 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 sure you know this function to, to um, publish or you know, to affiche ou cache yes everything you can just uh, publish it or just hide it yes. to for those who doesn't uh, have yet followed the training there's a function to show or hide something to the students uh, information Yep. So that's how a planner for the presentation looks like. Like it was two students per presentation. Yeah. Uh, Okay. How to contact the students? Well, I discovered this function last year in September or in October. Uh, I had to teach there Monday mornings at 8.30 and there were a lot of problems on the trains. Yeah. I mean, like, delays for half an hour and more. Yeah. And I knew my students were there in class waiting. Yeah. They were just waiting for the academic quarter an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So, with my smartphone, I was able to send them a message through Moodle. Wait for me. Yeah, don't go away. away. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Show again. Show how it works online. So you go to administration, users, and all the users. Get them the one. Yeah, that's the one. No. It's not administration, it's this one, the navigation. Participant. Yeah. Sorry, can I see yeah. that again, please? Yes. So you go to the top uh, of the okay. page, navigation, navigation yeah. participants. Yeah. Okay. And then you get all the students. And you can select just a few of them, or you can, you can select all of them. Yeah. And then deselect a few if you want. Yeah. And then you do like this. Envoyer un message. Mais excusez-moi. Moi je fais je, je le dis en français. Oui, euh, dans Forum des Nouvelles. Ouais. Si on écrit un petit texte, ils le reçoivent d'office par message aussi. Hein. Ça dépend du réglage de la ah. page. Ouais. Moi, je fais ça et tout le monde reçoit. Apparemment, ici, il y a le dessin, ça veut dire comme ça. Ok, what my Joe said, that that's another way to do it uh, yeah. in the version, is that if you put uh, 
a news in a news forum for the IRC also. So we have the two possibilities. Yeah, we get the message in the mailbox. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question. Yes. I somehow found how to do this, so I sent them a, a message yeah. and they replied and I couldn't see it. Where do you, where can you see, where is the, you your the mailbox page? or? Uh, you have a sort of mailbox, the I don't know where it is on the ULD page. page. Uh, I know some of them replied and I couldn't <laughs> find it. Ah, yeah. I, I must admit I have to use this one on the on the ULD platform. Okay. So, but um, <laughs> yeah, but on the on the UCL page when I log in, I have like we have six new messages. That's what that I saw. Yeah. I saw these messages yeah. and then they disappeared and then I couldn't find them anymore. Okay, mm. I, I don't know by heart where they are exactly, but uh, that'd be easy to. I can check uh, later on if you want. And when you said that yeah. you wrote to them when you were on the train or yeah. whatever delayed. Is there a, an app, a Moodle app, where you have to get onto the internet and then get onto the cert, to the ULB and then send it? So I, I go on the Moodle page. Yeah. And it's not an application within Moodle, it's just the general uh, page of that course. Okay. You go to the participants and then you can send them okay. a message. Okay. Yeah. So you go to navigation, participants, then you get the list of all yeah. students that are subscribed yeah. with There's that no course. App. Yeah. So you need a good internet connection though, because uh, mine's quite slow if I'm in public transport. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, good. You have to wait till the train go gets to the <laughs> 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 where it was good. It's stuck on the train, yeah. 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 So we'll see if I have Wi-Fi on the train. Yeah, soon. I'm not yeah. Sure. yeah. You can type your message here, yeah. You get your uh, message there, then you get sort of preview of what it will look like, and then you can say send. And then you get sort of confirmation like this. Yeah. So a basic tool, but it can be very useful. Yeah, 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 yeah. good for your nerves and your hearts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, last thing. Yeah, media, media players. Media, media players. first option is you just copy a link into an application yeah and then when you click on it the computer will make a connection to the original website yeah. but you need an internet connection in class yeah. it's not always the case as we have seen yes, here yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and even the so-called permanent links sometimes they change yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. even so uh, so um, the good thing is, it's quite easy to add this to your Moodle page, but yeah. uh, the other option is is really to, to upload the video or the audio fragments on the Moodle page. Yeah. Because there is a sort of embedded player in Moodle, mm -hmm. but they are quite problematic. <laughs> yeah. Why? So, I don't know, they tried different versions, different different applications, and they're all problematic. Yeah. Uh, I tried all the formats, like F FLV and mm. MP4. Yeah. On some computers, they work, and sometimes they don't work. Yeah. And that's the last thing you want as a teacher. You go to class, and you say, like, is it going to work this yeah. time? <laughs> yeah. So um, I always have a backup. I put the files also on the USB stick. OK. Yeah. Uh, so this thing remains problematic. I don't know how come, uh, but yeah. Uh, and you need, sometimes you need a good internet connection to upload larger uh, video fragments. Yeah. So, uh, Jack, you advise like to use the first uh, option or, or both, uh, just in case? Usually, if, if the video fragment is really important, I do both of them. Both of them, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, and still, I get mails from students uh, telling me it doesn't work for me. Je crois que FLV, c'est le meilleur. Il y a moins de problèmes avec FLV. 
Uh, you understand? Do you understand the better? So can you repeat in English? The yeah. F? So FLB. It's okay. yeah, FLB. It's totally okay. FLB so is like the best uh, option. But still, it's still, 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 no guarantee. Yeah. I've got a question for Aleko. Do you think that one day we'll get a better Wi-Fi connection in these, uh, in these buildings? I don't know. Hmm. No, because still we've, we've got a better... We have, we still we've got a better connection. We are supposed to not to be here forever, so... No, but that's <laughs> something I told me 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we can talk about that later. No, no, it's... it's I don't know. Essential. Sure, I, don't know. I, I, I agree, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the first, first option is, yeah, you put the link on the page. I do it with this. The last option here is URL. Yeah. Yeah. Ajouter. So that's in administration, navigation. No, Ajouter. 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 Yeah, Ajouter. And then yeah. Uh, URL. The link. And then you come to this page, where you can give give it a name, and then you put you paste the link here. Okay. Yeah. So the ULB page asks for a description. Yeah. I find it quite useless, so you just put a dot. Yeah. 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 You don't have to display it. You can choose yeah. the option exactly. to not display it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you but still have to enter something. To yeah. Yeah. Okay, and um, yeah, then you just yeah, on the stream, and then you'll see the link on the middle page. It's quite easy. Yeah. The second part, the second option is yeah, to upload the file on the platform. Yeah. And the option is ajouter fichier. Yeah. The system recognizes if it's oh, a text document or an audio document or a, a video or a document. Yeah. And the system recognizes it by itself. Yeah. <coughs> so the name just up here. Uh, you can drag and drop the document here mm -hmm. and then on oh. yeah. and then you can that's the so-called embedded player you can also put it on full screen yeah and then fingers crossed it <laughs> <to> work <laughs> can you you can do both obviously you can give that or you can give the link yeah Yeah. There was a question I had a, a, some time ago, I don't know if it's finished now, but there was yeah. a question of having a certain applet or, um, or a plug-in or whatever. C'est plus le cas. C'est toujours le cas ou c'est plus pour le cas? Pour les collapses, oui. Enfin, ah, il oui. y avait un problème d'autorisation de la part de je ne sais plus qui pour obtenir les, les plugins oui. pour faire les collapses. Pour réduire, augmenter les, 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 les dossiers. Oui. Mm. Alors, Collapse, c'est... Donc, en fait, quand tu as des dossiers qui s'ouvrent, tu vois, des sous-dossiers, etc., Collapser, c'est réduire, et le contraire, c'est étendre. Collapse and expand. Voilà. Yeah. Voilà. Et donc, en fait, il faut un plugin pour, par exemple, si tu veux avoir une page où tu vois simplement les, les, les dossiers, euh, les, enfin, les, les dossiers maîtres, tu vois voilà. Et donc, il faut un plugin. Il fallait l'autorisation de je ne sais plus qui qu'on a rencontré, ou, tu vois, qui, qui gère les bibliothèques, ah, oui, là, mais oui, qui a pris. Oui, 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 et on lui, voilà. Et on oui. lui a... Enfin, moi, je lui ai posé la question à ce moment-là, en tout cas. Donc, je ne sais pas... Oui. Euh... Maintenant, je comprends de quoi tu parlais à ce moment-là. Là, je ne sais ah. pas. Mais maintenant, je comprends. Qu'est-ce qu'il a dit voilà, Tu as bien voilà. fait de venir aujourd'hui. De... Euh... Qu'est-ce qu'il a dit Il a pris note. Il a fait des choses. Donc, il a pris note. Mais bon, cela dit, moi, maintenant, j'ai organisé mon cours autrement, donc j'ai plus besoin des collapses. Donc, je ne sais pas où on en est. Peut-être ça marche. So, if the collapse expand thing it doesn't work, let me know. I, I can access the version in change. Now I know who it is. Okay. There were different uh, applications for that one. Just a matter of choosing the right one from the open source library. Yeah. <laughs> Mais il y avait plein de de options différentes. Et bon, voilà, il y a certains qui marchent mieux et d'autres qui ne marchent pas. Donc, euh, nous, on a passé des heures. Oui. Des, des heures. Le week-end. I can guarantee you, yeah. with the platform works a lot better than years ago. Sure. Yeah. Uh, But it's great. Uh, it's really yeah. yeah. The options are really. Uh, do, do all the uh, teachers use it now? Lecturers use it? Uh, where you work? No. 
<laughs> they don't. Why not? Well, um, some sorry. people are ju just a bit conservative. I've been doing this for okay. so like this for right. years, so I'm okay. okay. yeah. okay. so retired in five of, uh, years. So <laughs> <laughs> not untypical. I mean, that's everywhere. I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But I think it makes you. It makes you. Your, Life easier. I mean, yeah, uh, it's no longer just planners well. on the on, on the board in, in, in the yeah. <coughs> here, things like that. How much time do you spend on that, as opposed to say doing it in a more manual way? You know, I guess in the beginning for launching such a, a page, it takes quite a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, although now it has become a lot more easier than years ago. Uh, so I guess the first weeks of the year takes a lot of time, but once it's there. You get things through your fingers if you've got a decent computer. Yeah, you can just drag and drop everything. Uh, if you've got a good connection, it's really a pleasure to work with that. Yeah. Even you could do upload larger video fragments in just a matter of seconds, and it's there. You can check it. And, and <coughs> yeah. 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 I would like uh, to start something for you uh, regarding the, the, the web of the of Given less than using Moodle uh, and the different tools you can use, I just follow a uh, brief training about something is going to be. Uh, uh, um, it's going to be available. Thank you for you in a moment. So it's a Tableau Blue Interactive, so the oh. interactive whiteboard. Okay. So the you see, I don't know if you know it, it's very useful, but you will receive. <laughs> sorry? In the classrooms. Yeah, first for all, we have only one. Ah. It's better than none. We are great. But you are going to receive uh, an email uh, a try out uh, about that. But, so, about I mean, using point. different tools and everything. And so, what is it? As Dan said. Okay. okay. Any more questions? Every secondary school has got that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.